Hello, everybody. How's it going? My name is Yuchin. So this video is uh, to share with you about dichotomous key, uh, which is from your form two, chapter one, towards the last part. Let's get into it. Dichotomous key is used by biologists to identify and classify organisms systematically based on their similarities and differences, right? So it's a series of couplets, means um, we will have a pair, a pair, a pair of questions that you will ask consists of two statements, okay? Describing characteristics of the particular organisms or a group of organisms, all right? So long story short, it is for us to categorize animals by asking a couplet or a, a series of questions, okay? So I have an example for you. Um, hope we can... Um, Go through this together and you will get a better idea of how do we actually form a dichotomous key. So I've prepared words already, so uh, you don't have to wait me for typing. So imagine that you have nothing but just five pictures of animal. You have to um, list them down in their characteristics and their answers. Okay, let me show you. So we have rooster, cat and tortoise um, and spider. Okay, the five animals we have. And we have to ask a question to actually split five into two groups. Um, it's best to split them into half. Uh, of course, we can't uh, have it in half for five animals, but hopefully we can do like a two versus three or like a three versus two. That's good enough. So the first question that we're going to ask ourselves is to split them into half. So, um, well, quite obvious that we have three animals here in the same category, which is vertebrates and two animals here in the same category called invertebrates but we're not going to write vertebrates and invertebrates as our title um, because that's not the uh, uh that's not the question to ask uh, or that's not like a yes and no so rather we're not going to write the title we will write it into their characteristics so we have their characteristics to write down which is having backbone or not having backbone to replace vertebrates and invertebrates, because that's that's the title of the, the, the category, right? So we're not going to do that. We will instead write or describe the characteristics, which is having backbone and does not have backbone, okay? So that will instantly split this five animal into half, which is rooster, tortoise, cat in one group. That will be half backbone, okay? And uh, we, will, we will write as go to two because uh, we will have to continue ask questions like that to split them. And finally, we will get to have the name of the animal written down, okay? So does not have backbone, we have ant and spider. So we will have that go to three, okay? Which, which that brings you down to two and that brings down to three. Okay, so now we have successfully split these five animals into half. Next one, go to two. Let's get it done. Okay, now between rooster, tortoise and cat, we have to ask another question of yes and no to split them into one versus two or two versus one. So you could ask questions like um, having or uh, has feather, does not have, does not have feather or has fur, does not have fur, or has hard shell, does not have hard shell. It's up to you. So what I've chosen is has feather and does not have feather. So has feather, I have answer ready, which is rooster. Okay, there you go. Does not have feather, we have two animals here, but uh, we will bring it down to the next to uh, further clarify. So go to four. Is that right? Okay. So number three, let's continue with go to three. So two is done. Huh? So this is done. Okay. So now we'll go to go to three. So go to three comes from does not have a backbone, which is two of them. Okay. Well, what questions are you going to ask? 
Well, if you remember, we have um, basically two categories of uh, this type, which is called the uh, insects, which is as three pairs of legs. And the other category would be arachnid, which is uh, two segmented body and eight pairs, sorry, eight um, legs. So ant has three pairs of legs, spider has four pairs of legs, ant has three segments of body, spider has two segments of body, all right? So well, it depends what you want. So let's say I'm gonna go for three pairs of leg and more than three pairs of leg, okay? So three pairs of leg goes to end. Okay, well, has more than three pairs of leg goes to spider. Okay, so why don't we write um, uh, has eight legs or four pairs of legs? Well, that's not like a yes and no. We want like exactly yes and no. Has three pairs or more than three pairs? Of course, we're not gonna write not, not having three pairs or three pairs, no three pairs, none. We don't work, I mean, they have legs definitely, okay? So hence, uh, we're asking like a yes and no question, all right? So we are done with go to three. Now, what is left is go to four. So go to four comes from does not have feather, which is cat and tortoise. We will ask one more question to finally write their names down. So for example, I've chosen has fur, does not have fur. Or you wanna go for has hard shell, does not have hard shell. Or you wanna go for give birth uh, and lay eggs up to you, okay? So has fur, which is cat, right? Does not have fur, which is tortoise, all right? So finally, we are done with go to four and just a quick check, do we have all the animals in? Rooster, yes. And spider, cat, and tortoise. All right. And guys, that's basically how you form a dichotomous key based on the picture given. All right. Well, I hope this video helps. And um, if you have any questions, you can comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, people.